Good morning. This is the media report for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson, media relations officer for the St. John Police Force. This video will outline newsworthy events that transpired over the weekend of Friday, February 28th, up until this morning at 6 a.m. We encourage anyone that may have information that can assist us in any of our investigations to please give us a call at 506-648-3333, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website, crimenb.ca. Going back to Friday the 28th, the St. John Police Force responded to 123 calls for service. A couple files to note, at 9.53 p.m. Friday evening, we responded to a disturbance call at an uptown bar located on Princess Street. The report indicated that two males were involved in an altercation at this location and a female was possibly injured. As a result of this dispatch call, two males were taken into custody. A 30-year-old male was arrested and is facing criminal charges of causing a disturbance, and a 25-year-old male was arrested for breaching a court-ordered house arrest, which he was found to be violating. The 30-year-old was later released on conditions and given a future provincial court date to answer to the approved charges. Meanwhile, the 25-year-old male remains in police custody and is expected to make a provincial court appearance today at 1.30 to answer to the approved charges of breaching his Form 12. At 2.06 a.m. early Saturday morning, we responded to a ma male that was reported to be unconscious in a rear parking lot behind a nightclub located off of Sydney Street in Uptown St. John. This male was believed to have been in a physical altercation and assaulted. As a result of this call and investigation, two males, aged 18 and 23, were arrested inside this local nightclub for assault causing bodily harm, assault, and obstruction. The 23-year-old male is currently being held in police custody to appear in court later this afternoon, while the 18-year-old has been released on conditions with a court date of May 6, 2014, to answer to the approved criminal charges. On Saturday, the St. John Police Force responded to 80 calls for service. At 9.57 a.m., we received a call of a male outside of Prince Edward Square Mall behaving erratic, and the caller thought that they observed this male with a handgun. Members searched the immediate area and found a male matching the description outside an address on Charlotte Street in Uptown St. John. A 33-year-old male was checked and found in possession of an airsoft pistol which was painted black and was found to closely resemble that of a real firearm. This male was checked and also found to be on court-ordered house arrest to which he is subsequently violated. He was arrested and held in police custody to attend court on the approved criminal charges. At 9.44 p.m. Saturday night, we responded to a medical assistance call at a residence located off of Grandview Avenue. When members arrived, they discovered a male who had been assaulted. This person believed to be responsible for this assault was also present in this residence at this time and was subsequently arrested and is facing criminal charges of pointing a firearm, threats, assault with a weapon, and mischief. The victim was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital with injuries which were not considered to be life-threatening, while a 45-year-old male remains in police custody expecting to make a provincial court appearance later today to answer to the approved criminal charges. At 2.15 a.m. early Sunday morning, we responded to a motor vehicle collision with injuries on the Courtney Bay Causeway. The caller reported a single vehicle was involved with a pos person possibly trapped inside this vehicle. When members arrived, they found a car had rolled over and landed on the opposite side of the road. As a result, a 48-year-old male was transported to hospital with injuries not considered life-threatening. He has subsequently been arrested and is facing criminal charges of impaired driving and will be appearing in provincial court at a later date to answer to the approved charges. And lastly to report, last night at 9.40 p.m. we arrested a 15-year-old male off of Wright Street in the north end of St. John who was found operating and in possession of a car reported stolen earlier in the evening. This 15-year-old male was held in police custody and is expected to make a youth court appearance today to answer to the approved charges. This will end the media report for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Have a great day.